Hi there, my name is Linnea Rock. I'm a graduate student researcher at the University of Wisconsin Center for Limnology. And today I'm gonna to be showing you what I do with water samples after I collect them in the field. Here is the setup at the lab. Um, so this machine here in the middle is the ion chromatograph. And this is what we use to analyze each water sample for chloride concentration. And there's three important parts to this machine. So this carousel where the uh, vials will be loaded um, and it's auto samples. And so you can see the tubing that the orange tubing that is connected there uh, brings it into this part of the machine. And this is where the magic happens, where um, it detects the chloride concentration. And controlling everything over here, of course, is a computer where I load information um, about all the samples and this is where it, uh, the output comes and I can see the numbers. An important step we must do every time we analyze samples in the lab is calibrate the machine. So I have a range of standards that are prepared. Um, they range from one milligram per liter to 500 milligrams per liter of chloride. So these are the first things that the machine analyzes and that helps to calibrate it so that it is able to run all of my samples and detect how much chloride is in each sample. So when I was out in the field the other day at Pheasant Branch um, Creek, I collected this water sample. Um, Pheasant Branch Creek experiences really, really high concentrations in chloride through the winter. Um, and sometimes the amount of chloride in these samples is higher than my highest standard that I calibrated the machine with. So greater than 500 milligrams per liter. So before I get here, what I do is I take um, five milliliters of my uh, water sample from the creek and I dilute that with an equal amount, five milliliters of ultra pure water. So this is a, a, now the sample is diluted two times. So the machine is able to detect it and then just multiply what it detects um, by two to give us the actual concentration. So here's how I prepare the sample for uh, running on the ion chromatographer. I have a labeled vial and every time I am pouring um, samples from my bottle into the vial, I check to make sure that the label matches. Pour this in. I've got just enough. And then we fix it with the cap here. And I use this little tool, which is made specifically for this procedure, to press that down. And then it is ready to go into the vial holder here. So this is a spreadsheet where I put in all the information for each sample. Um, so I have these little codes that I understand and so these are distinguishable to me. And right here is the one that we are watching that we collected the other day um, from Pheasant Branch. And you can see I put it over here, it's diluted two times. And I can come over here to tell this machine that it is indeed diluted so it knows to just make that calculation automatically. All right, so we are ready to begin. So I can click on this, hit start. I see that green, that's good. We come over here, the auto sampler automatically goes to the first position, which I indicated on that spreadsheet. Just takes a minute, I can see number one heading in. Okay, let's see if we can get a good shot of the auto sampler. So there it is. This is kind of hard to see, but that uh, metal tubing is going down and it's going to plunge those um, caps that I have fixed onto each sample down into the vial. A little bit of water spilling out, that's okay. So 
So as it goes down, it uh, will get into position. It will collect enough water and bring it into this machine here through this tubing. And this is where it will detect the chloride concentration. So a really cool thing um, is being able to watch the samples running in real time. So you can see that uh, this green line here is moving and it's gonna give us some information about uh, the chloride content of this sample. So each, each sample runs for 10 minutes on this machine um, and you can have up to 50 samples in uh, the carousel. So, you know, it runs for eight and a half hours approximately. So I typically will start it and then come back the next day to uh, check all the values and to get that data um, onto a flash drive and bring it home to do some data analysis. But while I'm here, I always like to watch a couple of samples run just to make sure that the machine is working properly. And it looks like things are going really, really well so far. And that spike right there is the chloride spike, the first one that shows up is chloride. So that is what we'll be interested in. And tomorrow I'll come back and show you a bit of the, uh, how we get the data. So I mentioned how I calibrate the um, machine up to 500 milligrams per liter. And that sometimes in Pheasant Branch Creek, we see um, concentrations that exceed that calibration standard. And that's very, very concerning. So chloride is a naturally occurring element and in our fresh waters uh, without anthropogenic, without a uh, human impact, um, we can see chloride concentrations usually around like zero to 10 milligrams per liter. And that's just from natural uh, demineralization of you know rocks breaking down. Water is a really, really, really powerful thing. And as it flows, um, it wears away at rocks. So, um, there, there is a little bit of chloride, but nowhere near 500 milligrams per liter. Hey team, so I'm back in the lab today um, and I'm ready to take a look at the data that was collected by the ion chromatograph yesterday. So the first thing I wanna show you is um, what it does with the standards that I use to calibrate the machine. So I mentioned yesterday that um, those standards from one milligram per liter to 500 milligrams per liter are the first thing that's run and that creates this calibration line here so now the machine knows that or i i'm sure that the machine can accurately uh, measure chloride between one milligram per liter our lowest um, calibration standard and 500 milligrams per liter our highest calibration standard so this is what a result looks like um, it uses these series of procedures, which I am able to change at will um, and specify as I need to, to um, calculate the area underneath this curve. And the result is this nice table here, and it tells us what the chloride concentration is in our water sample. and. Our sample from Pheasant Branch Creek had 659.01 milligrams per liter of chloride. That's really, really high, but it's not um, unexpected for that creek. So after I collect all of my data, the last thing I do at the lab is I make sure to clean up the ion chromatograph so that it's ready for the next user. And to do that, I just run some ultra pure water through the machine um, and discard all of my vials and make sure there's no errors or leaks or anything like that that I need to report to the lab manager. So that is what I do in the lab. Um, the next steps for this is to take the data home and process it and see what it looks like compared to other values that I've collected throughout the year.